In today's video, we're taking 30 vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs and pitting them against each other. What's up, guys? We're back with another battle where we have 10 original Yu-Gi-Oh packs, Pharaoh Servant. We have 10 original Yu-Gi-Oh GX packs, first edition, actually. And we have 10 original Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds packs, Extreme Victory. So we have 10, 10, and 10, 30 total packs. This will be a three-way pack battle to see is the original GX or 5Ds the best Yu-Gi-Oh series. I want you to put your votes down in the comments. But before we get to it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. This is a 5D Super Rare. We have a original Super Rare and we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Super Rare. So one representing each of the categories. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What will we pull and what is the best series? Is it original? Is it GX or is it 5Ds? All right, guys, let's get to it. Let's start with 5Ds because this is the newest set. 2011, though, I mean, Extreme Victory is pretty old. I've never pulled the Ghost in this set. So if we could pull it, we could add that to our total ghost pulled ever and stuff like that you know because we want to pull every single one at some point one two three from the back we have uh serene psychic witch that's not that looks like a rare for some reason uh reboot psychic reactor we have aurora paragon out of the six samurai tgx1 hl six style dual wield brain hazard and we have boon of the mech lord emperor so starting it off we have nothing we got nothing for five d's we're trying to get a w i personally uh obviously i'm rooting for the original but I, honestly i like all three series here i think five d's has one of the more fun uh like the sets can contain more foils and stuff so it's kind of fun the originals and gx is more like you know you're looking for one big pull and stuff like that synthetic seraphim we have the elemental hero neo so that's a great common not worth money but that's a cool one to pull out order bombardment we have d spirit he got done dirty you know put as a common right off the bat and d chain the chain of the d okay time to try pharaoh servant okay there we go i feel like it wasn't focusing great look that looks a little better the background's a little more blurred but that'll work I'll make it look a little better Okay, Pharaoh Servant. Can we get, uh, I think this is a retail pack. I'm pretty sure. So that means no Genzo. We're looking for stuff like Buster Blader. We're looking for stuff like Legendary Fisherman, stuff like that. Twin Head of Fire Dragon. We have Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Mystic Probe. Gamble. Watch out. Cyber Falcon. A jet powered hawk that travels at the speed of sound. Shadow of Eyes. Drill bug, and we have monster recovery. So everybody is starting off with a dud pack. I guess that's a nice even way to start. Extreme victory up next, first edition. If I could pick any card to pull here, it would be the ghost uh, junk berserker because that would mean, you know, I've pulled it finally. And I could add that to my tally. Tyrant's tantrum is up next. We have the clock resonator. Runaway car curry. TG at one EM one. We have force resonator. Fortissimo, the mobile fortress. Car curry cachet. Oh, this is one I always miss. Also, what kind of... Okay, two commons. Wait, how many cards have we pulled? Three, six. There were 10 cards in this pack. So I did three from the back. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards. If you take a look at the pack, it says there should be nine cards per pack. So we just got an error pack. And the funny part is there were two unknown synchrons. So they put an extra unknown synchron in there. It should have been like this, but there was an included unknown synchron. And then there was a hollow. So I was like, I did three from the back. There's no way there should be four cards left after that. And also, I guess I need to do a different pack trip because this is one that I always miss. It's very hard to see this uh, hollow. But this time I noticed it and we had an error pack. So that's actually pretty cool. OK, power of the duelist. Let's see what you can do. So we've got one pull. I don't really know know if that even gave them a lead though air air pack should count as a dollar right i mean it doesn't but it should uh let's see what we can get power of the duels we have pulled air packs out of before so maybe we can do it again we have black stego we have brainwashing beam see what's up with the i just can't find the right spot where to for it to focus alien hunter common soul maybe like right there wonder garage it's not it's just not really grabbing it very well baby Sarah Swords, which doesn't happen very often with iphone we have dolphin a lot of people ask what uh, what do I use to record? It's just an iPhone. Most of the time, it's really good. Right now, not so much. It's being a little iffy. That looks good right there. Uh, usually, the autofocus is great, which is what you want for like a card opening. You don't necessarily want a real camera. Real cameras are much harder to focus and everything. I, I've never understood trying to use a real camera on, on cards because then you're like trying to get it to focus so like constantly, which is what I'm doing right now, which makes it hilarious. But usually, I don't have this issue. We have infinite dismissal, bubonic vermin, seven completed. Chain of Javelin and the Shallow Grave. So Pharaoh's Servant is officially letting us down at 0 for 2. Stream victory, though. We've already gotten an error pack. We've gotten a cash shed. I mean, pretty solid. Can't complain about that. One, two, three from the back. That should. Oh, wait, no, no. You got to do this, this pack trick, right? 
Okay, we have a uh, TGX 300 Mech Time Blast. The Karakuri Kamashi MDL 224 Nanishi. That is a lot of words. TG1 EM1 Mental Seeker Gladiator Beast Tigarius. Esper Girl and okay, Hush Psychic and TG Jet Falcon. We can also, of course, get the tour guide out of here. First edition, which I should obviously mention. It's a big one. It is the biggest card in the set, I believe. I originally pulled it my very first Extreme Victory box opening when it was like a $50 box. I pulled one back in whenever that was probably 2018, 2019, something like that. Back on our early video on the channel, we have Royal Red Taxation, we got Rallis, we got Sabersaurus. Not so far, this battle's been pretty wimpy. It's showing you that opening old packs usually is not great. I might do a little video probably pretty soon. Probably I'm going to record it after this, maybe because I just thought of it of old packs versus new packs and see like which one wins. I think it's so much more likely for a new pack to win because like they have more expensive cards in a new pack than they do in like a vintage pack. It's kind of crazy. You know, if you're opening like Age of Overlord versus like Pharaoh Servant Original, it's like Age of Overlord probably gets you more value, which is pretty wild because they cost, even though they do cost a lot, they don't cost as much as Pharaoh Servant. All right, Type Zero Magic Crusher, we got the Twin Headed Fire Dragon. Two dragons fused as one from the effects of the Big Bang. Wow, okay, Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Mystic Probe, I don't know if I've ever read that. We have Dismissal, Vermin. It's a good thing my mom didn't read that back in the day. Wouldn't have been able to play Yu-Gi-Oh. We have Enchanted Javelin and, oh, the Shallow Grave, very cool. Okay, Extreme Victory First Edition. Let's see what we can get. We have Mech Timed Blast. Man, it has been not a great opening so far. I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty rough. We have Skiel, we have Elder, we have TGX 1 HL, a six style dual wield. Mech, Mech Lord Army of the Grinnell. Glad to be Tigarius. Tigarius. Okay, that puts us at Power of the Duelist. We have one pull. One pull. Not awesome. Not awesome in terms of uh, foil pulls. Our ratios are not great. Okay, let's see what we should get. Normally out of an original pack, we'd probably get like two foils out of 10 packs, maybe three if we were lucky. Power of the Duelist, same thing. And then uh, probably a little bit more out of Extreme Victory. So we'll see if we get there. So maybe like six to seven foils total out of these 30 packs. We have Wonder Garage, we have Alien Gray. Oh, Cosmic Core Gangiel. Nothing to owe about. That was uh, pretty irrelevant, to be honest. Pharaoh Servant, come on. Maybe you're just holding all the good ones for the end. Maybe you're just saving it all for the end. Please, Driving Snow, like in Lord of the Rings. We have Harpy's Brother. Yeah, the original. We have Random Mercy, Type Zero Magic Crusher, Rooks and Special, Soul of the Forgotten, Gust, Insect Barrier, Spike bot and Red Moon Baby. We are getting absolutely destroyed right now. This is not going so well. Stream Victory First Ed. Two of these are First Ed and one is Unlimited, but if we had First Ed Pharaoh Servant, it would be uh, a lot different. So that's why we're doing Unlimited. We have, uh, and I don't have any First Ed right now. We have Runaway, Karakuri, we have Staplin, TGX 300, Rooks and Special, Axe Dragonite, Lancer Linworm, Mech Lord Army of Wazelle, Resolute Mech Lord, not the, not the desk, not the Resolute desk, the army, and Okay, purple. I like I like that out of Extreme Victory. I think they have uh don't they have Neos Knight in this set? Ulti? That'd be pretty amazing. Oh, and the Gladiator Beast, Esadari. All right. That also, I think, might come in ulti. That's pretty amazing. This is the generic Gladiator Beast 2500. Just two uh, Gladiator Beast monsters make it. So pretty easy to make. Pretty awesome. Doesn't have an effect to, like, to exit, you know? It's like it, it comes in as a fusion. Usually a lot of them, they can, like, attack and swap back out or whatever. This one can't. So once you make this guy, he's kind of on the field. And it's not great because in Gladiator Beast, you want to be, like, swapping constantly, getting the effects. He's not great for that. Okay, Power of the Duelist. Uh, we'll take it though, an Ultra Rare, a Super and an Ultra, both from Extreme Victory. So those gotta be at least a dollar. So they gotta be in first. I don't think any of the commons we pulled have been very crazy. So it's looking like, you know, something to zero to zero. We have Miracle Jurassic Egg, we have Crop Circles, Fake Hero, Alien Hunter, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, we have the Accord Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, Alien Gray, and can we get an ulti please? Okay, Cosmic Horror Gangel. Again, these old packs not doing so great. So it's showing like this isn't even a new pack, but Extreme Victory, just the newer is doing better. Probably going to do a video about brand new packs versus original, like old stuff and see who wins. If you want to see that, make sure you let me know. One, two, three, four in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications when I post. We have Minor Goblet Official, Ground Collapse, we have Light of Intervention, Rux and Special, Regulation of the Tribe, Skull Mariner, Cold Wave. Gamble, and we have Morphing Jar number two. 
Morphing jar number one would be better, you know, just regular morphing jar. Though he doesn't come in the set, but if he did, you know, randomly, it'd be a cool error. Stream victory, let's keep it going. We have a, let's get a ghost rare. Ghost rare or tour guide. We have resident destruction, Mechlor army of scale, red carpet, meteorite. We have contract with Octomera, we have TG Warwolf, Recipro Dragonfly, and the sealing ceremony of Mokaton. Mokaton. Power of the Duelist, you could be crazy though. Give us something awesome. Ultras are hard to pull in here. They're even harder than ulti, so why not pull an ulti then? Blade Master, Common Soul, Destiny Mirage, Vicor Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation. We got Baby Sarasaurus, Contact, and <sighs> Dasher. Hey, this could still be a dollar. Used to be a $15 common, but unfortunately not anymore. Oh, it's a rare. Is it no, it's a rare. I don't know why I thought it was a common. I think it does have a common version somewhere, but this is not where, so. Uh, yeah, more disappointment from Power of the Duelist. Uh, Pharaoh Servant, all you need is one pull to really, like, get me excited, because that means there's foils in here. Right now, we don't know if there are. Grotto number two, we got Earthshaker. We got Mr. Volcano and his fiery finger. We've got the Gradius, Guruchin Kuwagata, Souls of the Forgotten, Gust, and we have a Insect Barrier, and we have a... <laughs> shift. Aw, oh, shift! These suck! Okay, Extreme Victory. First edition, Extreme Victory, you've done everything. You've done everything. That, like, maybe Dasher is a cheap, you know, rare. I mean, not cheap rare, expensive rare. Mech Time Blast, this has been pretty rough. TG Catapult Cannon or Dragon. No, can't, is TG Catapult Cannon something else? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Lantron, we have TG1, EM1, Mitzel Seeker, Necro Defender, and we have, okay. Synchro, could be a Ghost, could be an ulti. Here we go. Ooh, Power Gladiator, not Gladius, Gladiator, and Gladiator, the TG Power Gladiator, super rare. We'll take it, it's a TG card, I mean, Stream Victory is carrying hardcore. Which, you know, it's a battle, so they're not really trying to carry, they're trying to win, but first dead Power of the Duelist, literally, you have been terror. I mean, you've been maybe a little better than OG because of your dasher. You're not even down by that much, to be honest, because 5Ds hasn't pulled like a crazy card or anything like that. Brainwashing Beam, come on, let's just pull something crazy. Miracle Jurassic Egg, we have Mausoleum, we have Decoy Roid, D-Spirit, Flying Saucer, Elemental Hero Neos. I mean, I'll take two of those. Wonder Garage, and... Oh, finally! A super rare Neo Spatian Dark Panther. All right, we have pulled another super rare. Finally, Power of the Duelist got something. I mean, that might be a dollar. Not totally sure. It might have might have counted. Pharaoh Servant, you you're literally sucking. You have done nothing the entire time. So it's time for you to step it up. Okay. We have Overdrive. Yeah, put it into Overdrive, baby. Let's go, Major Riot. Let's get that Buster Blader. That's what I want. Wing Weaver. We have Eye of Truth, Ruxin Special, Dokuro Yaiba, Dark Bat. Insect Imitation, Attack and Receive. That's what I feel like I'm getting destroyed right now. And, yep, no, still getting destroyed. No one of Extermination. Not so hot. Extreme Victory, you're back up. You got three foils. I mean, by far the best in terms of ratios. Just get a Ghost Rare. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you get a Ghost Rare? It's not that hard. Just pull it. We have Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. We're trying to We have Esper Girl. Roxon Special, TG. Lancer Linworm. Mechlord Army of Wazel. That is a card that was, I think this was in Rage of Raw. Resolute Mechlord Army. The Mechlord of Fortress and Morphtronic Landron. Still several packs left. 30 old school packs in this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you have. And let me know what else you want to see opened in the future. One, two, three, four. And I can try to make it happen. Make it fun. We have Rallis of Starburn. Make sure you give me some good suggestions. We have Amulet's Roid, Common Soul, Destiny Hero, Blade Master. Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, a lot of roids. We have um, Orbital Bombardment, watch out. Black Terra, and we have Cyber Summon Blaster. Man, come on, Pharaoh Servant. Get, get at least a foil. Like, come on, seriously. Okay, one, two, three, four. Get at least a foil. We have Mr. Volcano and his fiery finger. Gradius, not, not Gradius' his option, just Gradius. We have Science Soldier. He's a soldier of science, driving snow. Armored Glass, Flame Champion. Respect play. Guru Chingua Gata. Okay, maybe a trap card. What could a trap card be? Ceasefire. There's a bunch of them I can't even think. Oh, Chain Destruction. Oh, we're in Imperial Order. How could I forget about the biggest one? The Secret Rare Imperial Order. Let's go. That is beautiful. Okay. 
Finally, we pulled something and it was a secret rare. Very nice. Okay, not a huge value card. Honestly, might even be like $1 or even less. Um, but for an original, like for TCG, it's not going to have the originals on there because it'll be mixed with 2017 reprints and everything. But that card specifically should be probably more than a dollar. It's sad because it's an original and so cheap, but I mean, it's still really amazing. Still an awesome pull. That's definitely showing up for Pharaoh Servant. That's good. Two packs left of each. One, two, three, four. Swap from the back right there. We have TG SX1, a Clock Resonator, Psychic Reactor. We have Serene Psychic Witch. We have Nanoshock. We have Fortress. TG Jet Falcon. We have TG X3 DX2. And Shin's Advisor. That's another super rare. Very nice. I didn't even know at first that that was a super rare. Another one for Extreme Victory. A lot of low end ones, but still nice. Okay, Pharaoh Servant. Not Pharaoh Servant. Power of the Power of the Servant. If we were gonna mix them together. Power of the Duelist. You've got one super. So you're officially in last in terms of like good pulls. You do have two Neos, but they're common, so it's like pretty easy to pull. We have Blade Master. At least Neos is there, though. Common Soul, we've got another Neos. Destiny Mirage, Mausoleum of the Emperor, D Spirit, Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, a Synthetic Seraphim, and a Cyclone Blade. These Power of the Duelists are not doing so hot. But this Pharaoh Servant could turn that around. Not first edition, but we'll take anything we can get. One, two, three, four. Come on, Buster Blader. That's what we want. We have Mystic Probe. Let's go back to back. After being like 0 for 7, we have Solomon's Law Book, Ruxin Special, Deep Sea Word, Kisitai, his little finger. So we got Fire Finger, we got Little Finger in the same set. Souls of the Forgotten, and no, not the guy from Game of Thrones. Gus, we have Insect Barrier. Spike bot and this looks like a rare to me. Yeah, it's shallow gray. For some reason, the borders on the rares they just look like rares. Sometimes I'm wrong though. Sometimes they look like foils and they're not. Sometimes they look like rares and they're not. Last pack of extreme victory. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to see when we're posting next, which will be at 12 p.m. Central every day. Basically, we have reboot uh, every day for like the last thousand plus days. We have out of the blue. We have Mortronic Stapling, Power Up Adapter. ESP amplifier and if you're watching this and you haven't seen recent videos on the channel make sure you go back and check them out because you know we've had some good openings recently we've pulled some really good stuff there's a buster blaster so we asked for buster blader we got buster blaster and mech lord factory okay so those were not terrible but they weren't amazing they're definitely beatable if we get something big like an ultimate rare here or a good one power of the duelist 2006 set Last pack magic here, GX versus 5Ds versus the original. It hasn't been a very intense bat. Well, it's been intense. It just, it's like a low scoring football game. We have decoy right now, a lot of scoring. We have Emperor, we have Jurassic Egg, Alien Skull, Vicroy Connection Zone, Destiny Hero, we have Rescue Roid, Orbital Bombardment, and an Ultimate Tyranno. Another super. Okay, that's all we can get out of Power of the Duelist these days. A bunch of supers, which, I mean, to be fair, they're by far the easiest foils to get. Ultras are super hard to pull. Ultis are 1 in 12, so makes sense. Last pack magic, Pharaoh Servant. Here we go. You can win originals. Just pull like Buster Blader or uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, of course. I haven't even mentioned that one today. One, two, three, four. That'd be huge. We have World Suppression. We have Burning Land. Dark Fire Soldier Numero Dos. Bite Shoes. Gust. Insect Barrier. Spike Bots. Oh, Ruxin Special! Oh, the shift. Oh, shift. These were terrible, terrible packs for the most part. But we got a few good pulls in there, so it wasn't completely awful. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.